Okay, so I've just been doing some reading about uh, the impact of copying uh, content verbatim from Wikipedia to uh, another site and just making sure that we are copyright compliant. So um, there's a few things that we need to make sure. This is basically what the uh, page needs to look like in the end if we are copying verbatim and we should just copy for verbatim from from uh, Wikipedia um, and it seems to simplify things more so I've got the source here then I've made a link to the Wikipedia article and then I've put a copyright notice at the bottom which is um, uh, I picked up from another source so that um, that I'm just gonna bring this into view here that content is right here and I will take this and email this to uh, you so that you can copy that into another uh, article in fact I'm going to do that right now I'm going to go uh, new and go Sherry and Victoria uh, um, creative Commons um, HTML code. Here is the code referred to in the recent YouTube video I posted. Okay, so there it is right there, and I'm going to send that to you. Now I'm going to show you what to do with that. So um, get rid of that page, and we're going to go back to here. And uh, so in, in the um, blog administration, this is all the content that I copied from Wikipedia. Now down at the bottom, I put source, and then I put this link, and then I had to make a link out of this. So what I did there is I highlighted it, copy that, and then I went to click on the insert link and it brings up this panel here and I gotta go link to another website and I copied that link into the URL here and I said open in a new window and then that created this into a link then uh, below this I went into the HTML which is right here click on that I went right down to the bottom and I just copied that text into this bottom area so that text that I just emailed to you you'll want to just drop into a little text document and have it available so that you can drop that into the bottom of any posting where we are taking content direct from Wikipedia and then it's going to display and look like this and when you save it then uh, it will look like this so I know that seems complicated, which is why I'm so glad I can show you this in a video. Watch this as many times as you want, because you want to get familiar with how to create links in uh, Silverstripe. And uh, maybe I'll just kind of show you how that works here real quickly as I go Jesus. And uh, Jesus, and I'm going to make a link out of it, so I click the link bar. And I have the options here. If I want to link Jesus to another page on the site, then I can go here. And uh, once it brings it up, it'll bring up all my pages. And I can select a page here that I want to do. Or if I want to link to another page, then I'm linking Jesus to, you know, whatever I want. And then I can open the link in a new page and then click Insert. Oh, it inserts it over there, so that wasn't good. I need to make sure that um, I have got it here. Uh, sometimes it uh, can be a little bit of a challenge. Link to another website, link text, insert. See, there it is. Now Jesus is a link, and I can just X out of that. So um, anyways, that's how you create links. And you want to practice that so that you can get familiar with it. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that we are copyright compliant in our site. And if we are copying content from... Um, oh, this is the other thing I wanted to show you, is that on the Chris Tomlin article, for example, we've always got to make sure that the content we are copying comes 
is um, um, available under the Creative Commons license. So here it says the text is available under the Creative Commons uh, share like license. So that means that we can copy it as long as we make proper reference to it. So that's what we're doing right there. And uh, I'm hoping that keeps us legitimate. All right. So I just wanted to let you know that.